Sinds afgelopen zomer loopt assistent trainer Michael van Kennis rond bij Pek Zwolle. De Australiër die een aantal maanden geleden de wereld overreisde naar Nederland, kan tot nu toe terugkijken op een keuze die hem goed bevallen is. Yeah, it's gone so quick. Uh, usually when time goes quick, I think it's because you're having fun. And uh, yeah, I believe uh, yeah, we're having a good time. My whole family is having a good time here. We're enjoying ourselves a lot. It's a beautiful city. You want to live somewhere nice where on your, on your days off you, you can relax and, and enjoy your lifestyle as well. So it's uh, most importantly for me is that my family has uh, adapted and transitioned quick. My boys uh, in school and playing football here and they enjoy it so much. So that's very important. My freedom to, to do the work that I enjoy doing as well. So uh, it's been a really positive move at the moment and uh, the whole family is really enjoying it. Two years ago, you uh, had an interview with Melbourne City FC TV and you uh, said you were happy to be back in Melbourne uh, because of family reasons. One and a half years later, you moved to uh, Swalla. Uh, what made you um, yeah, give that happy feeling about being back in Melbourne up? Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's two things. Uh, it's always nice to be close to your family, but in the industry that we're involved in, in football, you don't know where it can take you. So at that point in time, it was it was nice to be able to go back and, and work, but I always knew it wasn't going to be definitive. Never in football you can say you're going to be somewhere for a, a long time or for the rest of your life. So yeah, at, at that point in time, it was, it was great to be back because I'd been away from Melbourne, not only coaching, but also as a footballer for a long time, for over 20 years. So yeah, it was, an, it was a nice period uh, to, to go back home and, and to stay a little bit in Melbourne. But uh, uh, home is where work takes you as well. So for me, uh, this opportunity to come to, to Zvola and work on in Europe especially, which is, which is great for an Australian coach, uh, was, was a great opportunity. En die kans liet hij niet lopen. In Zwolle werd hij herenigd met John van het Schip, waarmee hij al eerder samenwerkte bij Melbourne City FC. En als assistent trainer van Van het Schip heeft al kennis verschillende werkzaamheden. Uh, this week I could be preparing how the opponent plays and, and, and het will prepare how Peck uh, will play against them. How we will play against them. Or the other way around. Or uh, I will look at uh, the defensive organisation and then het will look at the attacking or vice versa. Uh, so the responsibilities depends on the week and, and we look early in the week uh, to see what needs to be done and to, to share the, the load and the responsibility of, uh, of preparing the team and, and planning the week as best possible to have them ready on the weekend. Lots of work to do here, um, but since last week we know that you got some new work in Melbourne, at Southern Melbourne, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, can we call it work or how do we have to see it? Yeah, look, you, I don't know if you can call it work because I'm, I'm not there and I'm not working day to day. My day to day work is here and uh, <laughs> we're here from 8 o'clock in the morning to, to most days 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, it's more an appointment, an appointment where uh, I'm honoured to have as well because uh, at South Melbourne Soccer Club, Football Club, uh, I grew up there as a youngster from six years old and I went throughout the whole junior system and ended up playing senior football. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's an appointment where I can only advise and, and guide people from here at certain moments uh, of, the, uh, of, of my free time. Uh, life for me is football, and a lot of times it's 24 hours a day, so uh, when you can do something nice to give back and to help others in the game, I think it's important. And I've been lucky enough uh, in, my, in my tenure, in my time coaching, that I've worked with some really good people, really good coaches, really good technical directors. And I've been able to learn a lot. And for me to be able to pass this knowledge and information over to help other environments, I think is nice. I think it's always good to be able to do that to better football wherever you can. So it's, it, that's an exciting little side project, but not so much work for me uh, uh, from here. So I'm enjoying to see what's going to happen there, but uh, of course, uh, Real work is here. En door het werk hier in Zwolle en zijn werk in het verleden in Australië ziet van kennis wel een verschil in mentaliteit tussen hier en daar. I think a little bit, a little bit, um, and I've been able to work with a lot of Dutch people in Australia, and from what they've told me about the differences, and, and I can see that now coming to 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 Holland. Uh, the game's always been here about playing football and being very uh, technical and, and tactical. In Australia it's been a little bit the other way around. Uh, in Australia we've always known the game to be a little bit more physical. And in Australia we're trying to change that. Football is about football. Huh? Don't, don't uh, mix this thing up. I'm all about playing football. But 
you know, when you lose the ball and you haven't got the ball, you have to run and you have to get it back as quick as possible. And to do that, I think you have to have a special type of uh, physical fitness and a, a special type of way that you want to hunt the ball down to win it back. So this is what we really want to, to improve on as well. And I think in, in, in certain games this season, we, we've seen that at a very good level, at a very high level. And uh, now we just have to become consistent at it. Because I know our, our boys can play good football. There's no doubt about that. We can play good attacking football and we're creating lots of chances and we have to try scoring more goals out of those chances. But also we have to keep that intensity for, for long periods of time in the game, but also consistently over the, the whole season.